Hi there. Just a little floral I'm doing tonight uh, for you. Uh, it's going to go in fast forward here in just a couple of seconds. And I started off with some <clears throat> dropping in some colors in the background, a yellow there and a pretty kind of a light uh, orange and some of my beautiful green. Um, I think that's the olive. And uh, just kind of moving the colors around and dropping in a little bit more concentrated color here and there. Here, this is a mixture of, um, I think, uh, permanent yellow deep maybe, and a little bit of, um, yellow ochre maybe and there's more of the kind of a you can see it there up in the corner kind of a light orange shade just trying to get some loose shapes on the paper and mixing here um, What am I mixing? Yeah, kind of a... Took a little bit of green and a little bit of that orange and I think some yellow ochre and... Now I'm wetting the page here on the spots that I want to drop this in. And I have my dagger brush there and I'm dropping uh, that color in. Just very loosely, sort of flower shapes, kind of whichever way it wants to go. And that's a colored pencil that I'm using just um, to get my stem straight. <laughs> um, it will disappear whenever I put the watercolor on it. It's a watercolor pencil. And I don't know, sometimes it just gives me a better idea of how how things are, how the stems are going to look or if they're, you know, looking the way I want them to before I actually do it with my color watercolors and I'm gonna put a bud over here Dropping in a little bit more color around the bottom of it in the side. And intensifying, highlighting a little bit um, around the bottom of the flowers. Going up into the petal shapes. And just very loosely. Kind of bleeding this out a little bit into the center there. Letting it kind of bleed just a tiny bit. Darkening up the stems just a tad with um, 
my darkest green. I'll, I'll try to remember here in a minute what it is. <laughs> scruffy um, leaves down at the bottom of the flowers. And adding some leaves to the stems now. paper is easier for me so that's why I tape it down on my little board that I made and um, just turn it every which way. I can you'll see um, as we go along that little spot of the pretty orange color down there it, uh, just needed something. <laughs> so you'll see towards the end. Touching up my little scruffy um, bottom of my bud leaf. <laughs> deep green for the stems and the leaves. And I do come back in a little later and add some more leaves down there. You'll see that um, as we go along here. And touching up the bud with a little bit deeper color. Giving it a little bit more definition. some more highlights on the flowers themselves as well. Some more uh, deeper color down towards the bottom of the flowers. Here I am wetting a little bit um, over there. I, I wanted uh, to put a little bit more of that really pretty light orange, pinky orange color, that color right there. <laughs> um, I wanted to add a little bit of that over on this side. So uh, I wet the paper a little bit so that it wouldn't be harsh. So that I could blend it out and um, I wouldn't have harsh lines. Up here I'm wetting it again because I'm going to add a little bit more of that orange up here in the corner as well. And I kind of it here till I get it the way I want it. And a little bit more. Go 
couple of dabs and drops a little bit more deeper in the, um, up in the corner. I'm mixing up, um, I took some of that light orange, I added some red to it. I uh, wanted something uh, uh, deeper, and then that looks like um, a little bit of, a tiny bit of burnt sienna, I think, that I put in there. bit of red brown possibly yeah yeah and um, just kind of getting a, a, a deeper shade of that light orange that I have in a couple spots and I'm going to use it for highlighting my flower flowers Just kind of start off by um, just adding some lines to it. And then you'll see me here uh, put some on the bud as well. adding a little bit of water there and then just dabbing uh, just to soften it a little bit I really like the highlighted color there but I just wanted it to be a little softer Dropping in a little bit more concentrated color here on the on the one spot of bright orange um, or pale orange, I should say, over here. I just added a tiny bit of water and some more concentrated color, sort of in dots, like to give it a little bit of texture. And you'll see I made another bud there over on the right hand side. Um, I lost a little bit of footage there so I didn't you didn't see me actually making it. Now here I'm adding some splatters of that um, pretty orange color. I'm just using my small brush so I'm getting some really um, small concentrated splatters. But they're really kind of pretty. <laughs> Adding a little bit of brightness and touching up the that other little bud and I added some more leaves down there. Now you'll see there I have um, four flowers and I don't like that. <laughs> um, should be an odd number and um, so here, sorry, this is kind of upside down, but I had my head in the way. But you'll see that I added another little bud over there. Uh, would be on the right-hand side of the paper. And if I said right-hand side before on the other bud, sorry. <laughs> but um, it'll turn right side up here. I have a picture. And there it is. That's the finished piece. Thank you. God bless you.